Hi guys and Happy New Year. This is April Babb with People of Blaze Ministries and I've taken a few weeks off of videos and doing a whole bunch of ministry. Um, been spending time with the Lord and hearing wonderful things from Him about this new year. He has so many wonderful plans for us and he will let us in on those if we'll be still and quiet enough to hear and so as I knew that I was going to begin back making videos today I was praying and thinking of all the things God's been sharing with me and thinking what Lord what will I share with the people what do you have for the people and I quickly heard him say I want you to talk about something uh, different something that you're not hearing from me as much but something that I have for them and um, just uh, on a side note, mainly to the ministers out there, I want to share this with you. When you hear from God, a lot of times He's feeding you. I know for me, oftentimes, it's like I want to run out and share everything He's saying. But many times, He wants you to take the Word He's given you, eat it, um, let it resonate in your spirit, let it become who you are, start living it, and then, then you'll begin to share it. So the Word I have today is for the people. And um, wow, it's, it's a huge word. It's an encouraging word, but it is one of those type of severe words the Lord has, which is good because he cuts things off of us. Amen. So he wants me to talk to you about being set apart. And I asked him, I said, Lord, what, what do you want me to begin by saying about being set apart? And he says, well, first of all, you need to make sure that you share the gospel. And I said, yes, sir. Amen to that. We all need to be sharing the gospel any way we can. And so there are some people watching this video right now and later that need to hear what I'm about to say. And he wants to ask us this, what does a saved person, what does a born again person really look like? Because he's reminding me, and it really is heavy on my heart, that so many of us are walking and we call ourselves Christians and we call ourselves saved, but really are we? And it is a, this is a word that is a heavy word, but that will set you free if you'll receive it. The word of God tells us, and so many times we take the scripture and we don't fully understand it. It tells us that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart, he was raised from the dead, you'll be saved, right? Right. But listen to me. When the word says, if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, it would never indicate that you can be lying with your lips. What do I mean? The word Lord means master. It means that I obey what that person says to do, to think, to become. And so if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord, doesn't mean Jesus is Lord, I'm saved. It doesn't mean one prayer prayed when you're a child. It doesn't mean I raised my hand and said that I received Jesus in my heart. It means if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is my Lord and you live those words out, you shall be saved. I hear a clarion call from the Lord telling us to get right with God. So many of us are in a place that is a dangerous place to be, to think that we are okay and we are not okay. Lord, help us. God, I pray right now that those watching will feel the power of your spirit beckoning them to come. Because you guys, when I look in the word of God and I see people that were saved, I see people that were changed. And I talk to so many people. And, you know, at the end of the day, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder about the salvation. Because a changed person is a saved person. A saved person is a changed person. I'm reminded of that scripture that cuts through my heart that says that on the day of judgment, many shall say to the Lord Jesus, but we have cast out demons in your name. We have preached in your name. We have healed the sick in your name. And Jesus will say to them, depart from me, you worker of sin. I never knew you. Now that... That word right there, to know that people will face an eternal damnation of separation from God because that he never knew them and they never knew him. They did ministry in his name. They were powerfully flowing in power to set others free in his name, but they themselves weren't free. And I am challenged to know that even people that do these mighty works of God were not truly saved, born again, because they didn't know him. 
He was not their master. He was not their Lord. So the first way to be set apart in 2017 is to make sure you're on the right side. And I want to lead you and encourage you right now that if you are watching this and you say, April, what you're saying is pricking my heart. I know that I've prayed a prayer. I know that I've raised my hand. I know I've said Jesus is Lord, but he is not my Lord. Then I want you with me now to do this. I'm not going to say a prayer for you to repeat after me. I'm going to ask you to do this. Find somewhere to go right now and say this, Lord, I give you my life. Oh, just give him your life. It's not about saying a particular phrase. It's about giving him who you are and allowing him to make you a disciple, a follower of Jesus, allowing him to be your Lord. Give him your life today. Amen. That's the first step of being set apart. Hallelujah. Praise God. I believe the second step is to take measures to make sure that God, the enemy, and everyone else knows whose you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I'm talking to the saved ones right now. I'm talking to the ones that have declared, Jesus, you're my Lord, and I mean it. Jesus, I give you my life. We need to allow God in us to be seen. Because I know for me, when I came to a point where I said, Lord God, I've got to live where you, your name is known about everywhere I go. I've got to live where I talk about you, where I point people to you. That made me come to a decision where I must be set apart because when we just kind of are a Christian, but don't talk about it and we go about our lives, that allows us to live on both sides of the fence. And I'm going to tell you this, Satan owns the fence. You got to get off the fence and you got to come over here into the fiery side and let the fire of God burn off all the sin from you, burn off all the desires from you and be set apart for Christ. His word to you today is that he wants a people that are set apart. And it's not a religious type of boundary that he puts around you. It is a, a, a he puts a wide open and space around you. See, what you don't realize is when you're in this, the trap of the enemy, you feel free, but the truth is you're being caged in tighter and tighter and tighter by your thought freedom. The devil doesn't give you freedom, but he makes you feel free in your sin. But I want to encourage you today to let God break off things off of your life so that you can be a set-apart one to shine for His glory. Everything God used in His tabernacle in the Old Testament first before it went into the tabernacle was sanctified. That word just means set apart for God's use. I want you and I want me today and God wants us even greater to be set apart for his use in his kingdom. It's time to start sharing the gospel again. The gospel that Jesus came, he died, he bled. Why? So that you and me could be in his kingdom once more. Adam removed mankind from the kingdom of God. Jesus came and restored mankind's ability to come into the kingdom, to come into the relationship with God as Father. So what is God calling you today to do? You know, he's calling each of us individually to go into a deeper level of being set apart. Hey, I see Paul Bab on here. That's my hubby. Hey, babe. <laughs> Hey, everybody watching. I see your comments. Thank you so much. God is calling each of us to go deeper into being set apart for him. And I can't give you a rule book of don't do this, do that. No, 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 no. With God, it's all about relationship. And so the best way to know what God wants you to do is to get alone with him and listen. So I encourage you today, first of all, if you're not sure about your walk with God, it is time to get serious. It is life or death. You can talk about Jesus. You can talk about the cross all your life and still die and go to hell. Why? Because you never knew him for yourself. You can watch every Facebook Live. You can follow every prophet. You can go to church every time the doors are open and be a deacon or even a pastor and not know God for yourself. It's time to know the Father for yourself. Amen. It's time to know Him. He wants to know you. So it's time to get away with Him in the quiet place. I challenge you this year to create a place in your home 
that is a quiet place for you and the Lord. And in that place, mysteries will come become known to you. In that place, the Word of God will become alive. It is in that place where you'll hear His voice and know that He hears your voice. I love you guys today and I bless you. I'm going to pray for you. I ask you to share this. This video is, is patchy. It's, it's me, you know, venting my frustration at the enemy. But I believe that the, the kingdom can come through it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Not by my intelligent words, but by His power. So I pray in the name of Jesus for everyone that will see this video, that it will be used as a tool to share the gospel of love. God, you're a father that wants to know your children and love on them and bring them to a true state of salvation. Not this false belief that we're saved, but we're really not sure. God, you want to make it solidified in our heart today. I love you guys. Once you dedicate your life to God, once you give it all to Him, get plugged into a church that preaches the Bible, that has the love of God. Of course, I recommend Christian Heritage Church in Graniteville if you're here in South Carolina, but find you somewhere and get plugged into the body. I love you guys. Bye-bye.